round. Mm. Please come and have a look. How are you doing? Are you okay? Trish, you know, Trish, yes, I'm well, oh, thank you. Oh, amazing. There's some new cards that I don't think you've seen. They've just come out. Yeah. Oh, have you? Oh, amazing. The cards have just been taken on by the National Trust, actually. Yeah. So um, I'm speaking. To, I've just signed a contract with them, so they'll be. Um, well, they can place orders now. I don't know whether they'll order many, but it's quite a nice um, client to have. And, well, oh, yeah, my work is, it's oil on canvas. So what I tend to do is I start with a place that I really feel connected to. So this is a place called um, Porth Joke. And this, we did a walk around the headland here. And, and there was a little note at the top of the, the cliff which said, um, please be quiet, um, there are seals. So, you, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a really lovely... Um, all the work, so there's 20% um, goes to rewilding Britain. Anything today, I'm doing Green Saturday instead of Black Friday. Yeah. So. <laughs> love it, love it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, exactly. Yeah, they're beautiful. I would really like them. What I really loved about it was the fact that um, it it kind of opened out when you got there and there was just this beautiful unexpected surprise of all these different layers in the in the rock and colors moving back into the foreground and the background yeah so I went sort of halfway down the but then it sort of went to a sheer cliff <laughs> and my my children were like oh don't go any further mommy you might get hurt <laughs> So I can kind of oh, move yeah. things around a little oh, bit. That's yeah. That's great. Uh, this is the yeah. perspective on it and yeah. the colours. Yeah, it's oh, really lovely. Thank you. Yeah. That's really, really kind. So that one was do you know Reading um, Huntley and Palmer's building? I don't know that I know the but I know Reading and I was probably similar age to my youngest daughter, about t 10 or 11 or something like that, when I first kind of started creating work. And when it came to kind of school and taking GCSEs and A-levels, I chose the creative subjects. And um, I guess I really... I quickly realised that's what lit me up, like what made me happy. I had a great uh, tutor at school who led me through A-levels and um, he, he still is in my head sometimes saying, oh, don't use black. You know, you mustn't ever use black in a painting because um, that just deadens it. So I've, that's something I've taken all the way through my career. Um, right back to my school um, teacher, Mr. Murphy. Um, he was very instrumental in lighting my fire for, for art. From school, I then went to Maidenhead Art College, as it was then, and I had a really great tutor there. This was my tutor, Nikki Savage, who still lives locally. She's also an artist. Um, she made me realise that I was good enough to go to a college because I think you hear of imposter syndrome, don't you? And, but I think all the way through my career, I've definitely felt, um, I guess, maybe slightly not worthy of it, you know, um, you know, doing a job that you love, you know, almost guilty that you're doing a job that you love. Um, I started um, working in Bristol, I lived there, and I was approached by a company called Alistair Sordays. They asked me if I would do this map of Bristol, 
um, it had it had to highlight it was about 50 different places that were green companies I had to draw it out it was an A1 piece of paper um, and then that was then published through them with their in the back of their book they had this fold out map that um, that you could either put up on your wall or you could um, just keep with the book after and so that kind of set in motion a, a series of different maps that I did. What's interesting about this picture that you've just bought is that it was the, the first commission I was ever given. So right back at the beginning of my career, um, it was a chap called George who runs the tobacco factory in Bristol and he um, he really took a kind of um, a risk on me. Um, he was quite a prominent figure in, in Bristol as a, um, a designer and a, and a sort of, I guess, an influencer of his time. And he, um, he was quite quirky and eccentric and he came across to my first exhibition I had which was held in uh, the Grant Bradley Gallery in Bristol and he said oh I really love your work can you come by the tobacco factory that he'd bought as a wreck so this was completely derelict when he bought it and he said when he bought it he bought it for something like a pound it was being squatted in by all sorts of kind of reprobates and there were, you know, it was, a, it was a drug area in Bristol and it was quite, um, quite rough basically. And he, over the next sort of five, six years, he transformed it into a theatre. And in turn, by transforming that theatre, he completely changed the area. So it's now a really kind of trendy, kind of hip area with loads of like, you know, little delis and cool bars and cafes and things. <laughs> oh, it's so lovely to see you both. Thank you so much. Honestly, I really, um, I hope you, yeah, hope you're happy. And I'm a creative person, but I'm also deeply concerned about, you know, the natural world. And um, so in my spare time, I do as much conservation as I possibly can, because I feel like the two feed each other. So when I'm, when I'm, so for instance, in a couple of weeks time, we're doing a tree planting um, at a local um, place, Stan Lake Meadow. It's, um, it's, a, it's basically owned by the parish council. It's a piece of land that um, four years ago, I approached them and, and, and said, oh, um, have you thought about planting any trees on this site? And they, were, they um, surprisingly got back to me and said, yes, we'd love to do it. Um, I set up a crowdfunder and we plant, we've planted, um, I think it's 180 trees now there. And um, I've done it with all sorts of people from, you know, really young children through to really elderly people who are planting something for a, a you know, a lost relative. Um, some of them have got plaques on. My work has really moved from like the urban landscape into the wild landscape. And I think that's, that's not a mistake. It, and it hasn't happened consciously. It's happened, I think, because we're all probably in need of it. You know, we're in need of that um, that connection to nature. And I think we feel differently when we're in nature as well. So for me, it helps me to relax. It stops my mind being so fizzy. It calms my body down. I feel more relaxed. So I, I went on a trip with um, two artists actually, we went in kayaks 
and we went off the coast of Greece and I was on a residency out in Greece at the time. And we paddled right up next to the rocks and what I saw there, the, that raw natural beauty um, and just something so um, exciting to behold. It's, some, it's the one straight through there, the turquoise, it's called coastal exploration. And it is, it was an exploration. And I want people, when they're looking at my work, to think, oh, I feel that sense of freedom um, that, you, that I had at the time when I was, was actually experiencing that, that area. I want people to look at it and think, oh yes, I do feel that sense of connection to nature, the fact that you, when you see that landscape there, so that seascape, it brings you back to a time when you felt like that, you felt that freedom standing on top of the cliff and you're breathing in that sea air and you're looking out to sea.